Okay, so all right. So good evening, class. So I'm architect Adolf Vincent. I'm a licensed real estate broker. I'm a licensed real estate appraiser and also a licensed and registered architect. And I'm a member of the UAP, United Architects of the Philippines, and RIBA or the Royal Institute of British Architects. So I finished my post grad diploma in project management with a specialization in construction and infrastructure at the University of Liverpool. So I'll be your instructor for this subject, which is Architectural Design 3 or Art 213, Creative Design Fundamentals. So for week one, let's talk about our course introduction. Uh, eight. So we'll discuss about course description. We are Design exercises stressing the value of programming, orientation, and interrelationship of interior spaces. Now, for our class, um, for our subject class, for this course, um, I think uh, majority of our lectures will be uh, asynchronous. So, meaning I'll be uploading video lectures, then activities, then you have to comply it. Uh, the advantage is that you can access the videos anytime and I think it, it should be able to allow you to plan your activities ahead. Okay, so I'm quite particular with your how early you are in submitting your work. Okay, so if you submit on time, of course, then you'll get to submit uh, uh, very late dates. So I'll deduct some scores. So if you if you're planning to get good grades for my subject, so just submit on time. Uh, because I I deduct a, a lot of folks who submit um, two to three weeks late or uh, some that, like that. Okay. So I won't be checking your attendance, but your the basis for your attendance would be your uh, submissions, of course, since we are uh, online. But I think it would really be good class if only um, the pandemic could be over and we could meet face to face okay uh, that such it would be much easier for me to guide you uh, especially in uh, design thing okay so let's move to the next page course objectives are one learn architectural force emphasizing the development and manipulation of the interior spaces okay so you should expect uh, expect class that architectural design tree so you should at least try to the theories you have learned on theories of design in your first year okay. so I hope that you have learned about repetition contrast emphasis okay. so those are really useful uh, in design so I think we are we and in this course we will now be dealing with objects and design problems that are a bit more complicated than your uh, design okay but don't worry class it's not that you're going to design a model as you progress through architecture it's design 1 to 10 slowly your pro your plates will become more complicated okay that in you but to prepare you someday uh when you become architects okay and also to prepare you for the board examination this lecture class is a five-year course the two-year apprenticeship period before you can take the board exam. Okay, so it's a quite a long journey, but I think you will find it quite satisfying at the end. Then perform architectural programming. So I hope that you are already well versed with this one, because you cannot solve problems in, in design without doing architectural programming first. Then appreciate the territoriality. I think this is already discussed in your uh, theory of design. Uh, the reality wherein human beings they they tend to you call this set boundaries okay for their families for themselves okay and as an architect you're going to translate that tangible forms in terms of design and apply architectural relationships of various interiors. first class all interior spaces they have interrelationships okay so one space is adjacent to another because there's a reason behind it. Okay. Let's move on. So the course outline. So going to. I think 
which will be tackling the importance of climatological or climate ecological solar wind considerations relating to the same you say climatological um i want you to focus on the climate of the philippines okay uh, most of our design book is on the western settings okay uh, but what you should learn class is that are the principles on why those book uh why those books were written in that way okay here in the philippines it always rains uh it's hot so you should think about it how you're going to solve those problems okay then basic space programming basic proximity uh, matrices context space programming detailed pro course the equipment that you're going to need will be a drafting table table computer and an internet connection so we already have drafting tables because uh, in this course uh, we'll be using manual so most of the works that you're going to submit will be on manual okay. and then last uh, please expect that uh, aside from submissions i'm going uh, i may require you to uh, create, uh, make comments of your classmates as well just it's like that to stimulate your critical thinking so it's going to be a uh, part of your activity so that uh, you'll be able to, ex uh, to find uh, and criticize uh, designs and you will point out what works, what doesn't work, and what needs improvement. Okay? In this way, you'll be able to learn from your classmates as well. Then of course you need a computer because I think you're going to take pictures of what you have done and submit it to me. Okay, so I'll give the detailed instructions on you step in our FB group. Of course you need an internet connection okay, uh, to submit the things you have done and view our videos. But the advantage should be most of our videos will be asynchronous. So it would provide you with enough uh, time to plan plan things out okay. so the first semester is going to be 18 weeks so this is for the uh, school year 2021-2022 you're going to have a reaction reaction papers design dates skisses defense videos major examinations and innovative tasks okay. but don't worry class uh, what we are going to give you and i'm going to give you i'll consider that currently we are in a pandemic okay so i won't give you projects and plates that are beyond your capacity as students as well but just remember class that design is the bread and butter of the architecture profession so i, I hope that you uh, exert a lot of effort in design otherwise if your foundation in design is weak, then you're going to find it quite hard when you reach your higher years and when you take. So I think this will be the grading system: 10% uh, for the class standing, 40% for the skisses, the midterm exam is 30%, then innovative task is 20%. Okay. Um, I think you're already familiar with this one in the student handbook. Kindly read your student handbooks okay so suggested textbooks and references of course you're going to use need the architecture graphic standards from macro hill the building type time savers architecture form space and order by uh, francis de kitching the architect's handbook the culture of buildings by david howard the elements of style by calloway stephen and mitchell beasley then the world atlas of architecture by norwich Okay, so I hope that you can find some soft copies of this one in the internet. Okay, you can use them as references. If not, um, most of our uh, plates and exercises are for this. They are researchable also using other books and uh, platform. But I recommend that you read these books for our course. Okay, so. Class policies. So if you, if you have a sync, if you have synchronous classes, please keep your cameras open as much as possible. Then message your concerns in the chat box. Name the chat box. You should be 
participative and proactive. Uh, then for laboratory activities, designs to use laboratory time, you are required to work on your requirements and submit it on time. Okay, so I'll be accepting class, I'll be honest with you, I'll be accepting late work, but don't expect a high grade for it. Okay, so usually the highest I give for late work is 70, so it means that your work is already perfect. Okay, but I give considerations uh, because we are in a pandemic and I know that um, this pandemic which has been plaguing our country and the world in general is I think taking its toll uh, especially on students okay? but you must remember also to work on work hard to train yourselves otherwise when you graduate someday here, if you graduate someday, you're going to find it really hard. Okay. So, architecture class is a state-regulated profession. So, it's governed by a law, which is Public Act 9266. Okay. Which means that the practice of architecture is a privilege, not a human right. So, it is a privilege granted by the state. In order to attain that privilege class, you must skills, the skill sets of an architect. I hope that you'll work uh, diligently and study diligently. Okay. So, we instructors are here. We are hoping and praying always for your success. Okay. But since this is already uh, college level, some of the information not be spoon fed. So, I encourage you to research. Okay, then. To be posted at our uh, platforms, which is uh, Ustep and our Facebook group. Then, stay safe and stay at home. Then, if you have any further questions or clarifications, last, don't hesitate to send an email. But when you send an email, kindly be polite. Uh, state uh, uh, your, your name, subject, and... Uh, follow uh, business etiquette when you send emails. Okay, I think you you have subjects like that in English. So I hope you can do it well. And then yeah, just like that. Okay. So I hope that you're all doing fine. So I'll be posting uh, our activity uh, in our uh, face respective groups in step and in uh, Facebook. So. If you have questions or qualifications like what I've said, you can contact me anytime. So stay safe class and see you next meeting.